Hey guys, and welcome to Alcan ADV. Uh, today I could be riding. I'm kind of bummed right now because the KLR is down for repairs, and so uh, no change from last week. But I'm gonna kind of walk you guys through it. So I have the carb out. This is like the heart of the beast. So hopefully it gets better from here. <laughs> So any of you guys with the SW Motec crash bars on here on the KLR um, know this. You pretty much cannot get the carb out unless you unbolt this crash bar. There's, it's not going to happen. So as of right now, I've got the carb out. I've got it all uh, unhooked. All these are the, here's the throttle cables, uh, vacuum hoses. There's a couple of them. Here's the choke. Um, cable in there anyway so I've been doing a few diagnostic tests if you will um, basically that's fancy speak for us KLRs just turning it on and hitting the starter um, it hasn't been starting I got it to start and run for about five or ten seconds before it died on me and it's it seemed it's some sort of mixture problem I don't know what it is uh, at this point I'm thinking it's running too rich, but I'm not sure. I took the air filter out temporarily just to make sure it wasn't uh, clogged or, or making the mixture too rich that way. But I think it's something else. I'm, I'm kind of thinking it's something to do with the carb. Actually, <laughs> I'm really thinking it if I uh, went to all the trouble to pull the carb out. But anyway, so not sure exactly what it is, but I'm going to tear into this after a little while and try to find out, or at least just... Uh, kind of clean it out, blow it maybe with some WD-40 and see what works and what doesn't. So I have no idea what's uh, going to come of this right now. You guys know as much as I do, uh, but hopefully before the weekend I'm going to be able to get this thing out on the road and I'm really itching to uh, to ride like I have been all winter. And unfortunately it's picked the worst time of the winter to uh, quit on me. So. so I had been trying to start it with the choke on and of course the choke isn't really a choke, it's more an enricher. And so uh, it hadn't been wanting to start, and then at some point I tried it with the choke off. Uh, came out here and turned it over cold with the choke off, and it, it fired for a little while. And so I'm thinking uh, it's running too rich instead of too lean as I had thought. I thought uh, I had a fuel problem, uh, maybe I wasn't getting fuel, but when I pulled this carb off, uh, there's fuel in the fuel line. Well, that didn't drain out of the right hole, but there's fuel in the fuel line. Um, and so it was getting fuel, it was definitely getting fuel, so I'm thinking it's probably getting too much fuel. So uh, follow along and, and see what I learn. I'm, I'm learning this whole time, so we'll see what I figure out. Good idea of the hulking size of a KLR gas tank. <laughs> My poor baby. So that is all I have for you today. Uh, hope you're all weathering this virus thing well. Up here in Alaska, we're, we seem to be kind of almost coming out the other side of it. We're uh, seeing a couple of things opening up here on Friday and then uh, a few more things opening up again Monday. So uh, for what it's worth, I'm grateful for it. So uh, anyway, hope you're all doing well. Stay safe out there. Get some good writing in if you can. If you can't, uh, well, there's always YouTube. <laughs> so anyway, stay safe out there. We'll see you next week.